I grew up to a million followers and didn't no one know it was me. But I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know I was going to make money. I didn't know I was going to turn into a full-fledged business. My whole thing with Millionaire Mentor is we help people reach more audience through social media. Most people have no idea how to get 1 million Instagram followers, let alone 10.5 million. Today, we're talking about the real millionaire mentor himself, Jason Stone, and his rise to success. Maybe teach you a little bit along the way about how to yourself become a social media influencer and how the industry works a little bit. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I started my first business by selling parts on eBay. Mm. And um, I took a one co-op job while I was in college and I decided, and I was getting up at like six in the morning to drive one hour to come back and like waste two hours of driving. I was like, I just, one, one semester of co-oping while I was in college, I decided this is not for me. I gotta do something about it. I need to become an entrepreneur, start making my own money because I knew I did not want to work for anybody. I was mowing lawns. I saved up mowing lawns, I saved up 500 bucks to buy a beater to then, you know, when I was 16 or 17, Oh, this, so this is pre. This is this is college. that's one of my first jobs, uh, right. first first like making money on my own type of thing, and you know I, I would buy a car at the repo auction and sell it. I think for five hundred bucks, I made it five hundred bucks, sold it for a thousand, yeah. and went back to the repo auction, bought another car. You know I kept I stacked maybe a few thousand dollars, and you know that was kind of during college. I started my first business on eBay of selling junkyard parts from scrapyards. I would, I would go to the scrapyard, the junkyard, and with a backpack full of tools yeah. in 30 degree weather, <clears throat> wrenching on like turbo parts. You know, that's my business today is turbocharging. And that's kind of how I got into it. Um, you know, during my college years, I would do that just to make money on the side and to have some money. So I started selling on eBay, and that's how Treadstone Performance came about. And that was my first real legit business besides mowing lawns or dishwashing or working at the produce or something. Yeah. This clip is to just kind of set up who Jason Stone is for you. He is someone who, since childhood, has been an entrepreneur worked his way up to where he is at today. I really appreciate that because I myself am in that sense the same way. I actually decided to forego college to try to make my dream happen. And actually, thanks to a guy like Jason, it is able to happen. I'm talking to you here today. Now, this first clip was many years ago. This next clip we're gonna look at happened just a couple of months ago. And this is Jason discussing really how he moved from Treadstone working in cars to becoming a social media magnate and along the way, teaching you quite a couple of things. So let's jump into it. We were in Orlando and I, we, we, we'd post all our pictures of social media. Like I'd post stuff going out, we post our food, we post like pictures of my watch. You know, I was trying to like do what was the norm back in the day. That's all you could do is post on Instagram pictures. There's no videos, there's no stories. So we'd post that we were out of town. I was in Orlando and I get a notification to my phone that the power at the house was cut. And I didn't think anything of it at the time. I'm like, oh, power go back on. We lose power all the time. The, so I didn't think anything of it. Came home two days later and I was walking up to the front door and it was cracked open. And like, I like just got chills. Now I got chills. I'm like, oh shit, like this is good. So I ran upstairs, got my gun. That wasn't stolen. And I started looking around the house. Everything was gone. Doors were open. Shit was on the floor. All my wife's purses, shoes, even our clothes, designer clothes, everything like gone. TVs, like it was completely ransacked. And I'm like, and I'm running around the house with my gun, like looking around, like, like rolling on the floor. No, I'm just kidding, I wasn't rolling, but I was like 007 in my shit, trying to ready to shoot somebody. And anyways, long story short, I'm like, social media got us robbed. And because you showed pictures yeah, of your house. We show we were out of town. I'm like, why would we ever use social media again to, to put ourselves in this place? And and show people they're out of town. And that's like a tip for you guys is like, never, you shouldn't post pictures that you're out of town if no one's gonna be at your house. Like at least have someone at your house. Well, we always have someone at our house. Yeah, that's good. Like big ass get, dogs. Yeah, well, there you uh, go. Uh, security, uh, some sort of security. Cause that's the biggest a teacher. People follow you and then know you're out of town. And if someone wants to rob you, they're gonna get to you. It's 100%. Right. Yeah. So, so you realized it, that was a mistake then, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, and I know, it was someone that I was either that I work with or this this one with friend that I had. And a couple of weeks later, I'm like, we were me and my wife were at the the hard rock, just had a couple of drinks in us, and I began a little fight, and I'm like, you know what? I deleted I deleted everything. Facebook, Instagram gone. So fast forward another week and a half, I'm like, 
I saw one of my friends making money on Instagram and he was in the fitness niche and he is like ripped and he was selling diet plans for like a hundred bucks and he was selling 20 a day. So he's making two grand a day. And this is back in 2014. I'm like, how the, you're making two grand a day selling diet plans on Instagram. And that's kind of like, light bulb went off in my head. I'm like, I need to get back on Instagram. There's something here. I don't know what it is. And I just made the account. It was literally, I typed out the word millionaire mention. I'm like, who wouldn't want to follow that account? Who wouldn't want to learn? And the reason I chose millionaire mentor, fast forward even further than that, this was in my twenties. I went to college for mechanical engineering and I started an engineering business called Treadstone Performance Engineering. It's a business I still have to this day, 20 some years in the making, runs completely by itself. So I was semi-successful back then. You know, I was already a millionaire and I always thought of myself as a good teacher. My friends would come around, people would ask me questions about business and I kind of hid behind that account for a year or two. I grew to a million followers and didn't, no one know it was me but I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know it was gonna make money. I didn't know it was gonna turn into a full-fledged business. But what and were you doing? Just posting pictures just, of Lambos? What was a millionaire mentor? Yeah, we were posting lifestyle pictures, the pictures that I couldn't post on my original account that people knew I was, posting cool quotes. Back then there was only like quote pages and then lifestyle luxury pages. So I kind of combined the two into one. So I had luxury lifestyle, entrepreneur, motivational, inspirational quotes. I started putting, cause I fought a lot of luxury accounts, fought a lot of quote accounts, the black and white quotes, and I kind of merged the two together. I've been wanting to do that, but my whole thing with Millionaire Mentor is we help people reach more audience through social media. A lot of people are trying Facebook ads, spend a lot of money on Facebook ads. Well, we can take that ad spend, and come over to influencer marketing on Instagram and do it a doing a little bit way different way than most people do it because we're not going after influencers. We're going after big accounts like the Millionaire Mentor and other big theme pages that could be in the niche of real estate or fitness or health. And we're going after those niche pages, putting their content on the, and distributing their content getting them more followers for their clients. Now that was Jason's discussion with Bradley TV. It is a great podcast to check out, but I want you to check out this next one with the Wolf of Wall Street, the real man himself on his podcast, Jason gets down to business and actually ends up teaching the wolf quite a few things. It seems that Jason really has an understanding of the market that even the Wolf of Wall Street does not. And that's pretty impressive to be able to outclass him in business. But if you don't believe me, just check this out. Everybody's posting the highlight reel of their stories. They don't post the bad, the ugly, the fights. Everybody's posting what we want you to see, the facade and making think that everybody's happy. So that, 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 that like people trying to compete with that is like competing with the Joneses. And it's hard. It's like steroids, right? It's like yeah, that. Jo it's that the Jones exactly. on the steroids. Jones on steroids, right? So that that's one of my goals is to become more vulnerable on social media because people think that our life is perfect. They see me and my wife. They travel. The kids. The the this and that. Like we're traveling almost every month, but people don't really know who we are. Right. And we need to show more of that. And I think that's what social media is going to turn into, and that authentic, vulnerable side of people is what's gonna build that genuine connection and really get people to like you. Your, your raving fans are gonna love you even more. And I highly recommend you check out the rest of his podcast with Jordan because he ends up talking a lot about business and in fact taught me quite a couple of things that I didn't even realize about running things on Instagram or social media in general. But my friends, thank you very much for stopping by this video. Today that concludes us discussing Jason Stone, the real millionaire mentor, and I hope to see you soon.